A split down the director's box, a split in Spain, and I'm sure a split at home or in the bars, wherever you are. Pull up a little closer to the screen, kick off your shoes, grab yourself a beer, or a refreshing drink at least, and get ready for 90 minutes of footballing fun. Jerry Armstrong's with me. It is Jerry. I tell you, this is going to be some game. It is going to be like a cup final, Rob. Who would have thought two or three months ago, you know, we would have uh, would have lost that 12-point advantage that, that Barcelona had and Real Madrid would have clawed their way back into the championship race. And now suddenly it's down to this and uh, it's winner takes all tonight. Fantastic opportunity to see two great teams. Uh, I think Barcelona's playing better football at the moment, but Real Madrid's got this winning man mentality, which is going to be hard to break here at the Bernabeu. And could you imagine if uh, they win it tonight and they take it down to one point with four games to go? And sit back and watch the action. There's going to be goals in this one for sure. Well, the quill is poised. The scribe is ready for another page of the Spanish footballing history book. They say this has been the biggest game since the 1940s. In the Spanish capital, it is showtime. Some of the greatest players in the world, at the peak of their careers, have a chance to enhance their already glowing reputations. There is Messi to Xavi. Barcelona trying to get the league over with in the opening half minute of the game. Superb. One mistake from Ramos. Messi was on the, the flash. Catalonia against the rest of Spain. That's the way they feel around here. It's a little bit like Yorkshire or Liverpool sometimes in the... Uh, Big way and finds it to the near post. Chappie half clears. Here is Lionel Messi. Is this the stage for the wonderful little Argentinian player tonight? We've had the best player in this game over the last hundred years or so. Messi taken down. Remember the approach at the. Uh, New camp earlier in the season in Ramos's first game in charge is to basically take it in turns to have a hack at Lionel Messi. It was it was nip and tuck, it was touch and go. Iniesta. Now Messi tries to get it onto that magic wand of a left foot. Eto and another teaser for Casillas to deal with. I thought that was on for a one-two for Messi when he played it into Eto. He could have given it back again. There's a little pass, he just needs to slot him in. And then Yester was completely on. Eto, lovely touch for Messi. You could see where that ball was going. Alves, the right back becomes a right winger, tries to cut it to the far post. Xavi takes his time. And some support. It's not normal for Barcelona. They really like this tight, short passing game. Now in Yester. Messi holds off Asana Diana. Takes three to tango with him, but they do their job. Well, if they can crowd him out, twos and threes, that'll make it a lot more difficult for Lionel Messi to function. There was a couple of little tugs on his shirt, and looks a little bit greasy there in the corner for whatever reason. It's just he's, he's a big figure as well when it comes to set players. He's on the time. The flag is down, but Casillas is acting Ooh. as sweeper keeper. He's caught by Messi. Casillas is down, and uh, well, the referee has pulled play back anyway. Messi couldn't believe his luck. Well, he sliced it, didn't he, the goalkeeper? Casillas, Iker Casillas, and then Messi went to stop, as he did before, and you were talking about the water, and he slips. He's onside, look right back, Sergio Ramos, Ramos, Ramos plays him on, that's why. And Leisman gets this right. Out comes sweeper keeper, slices it. Messi can't stop because of his momentum slides. Hits Casillas, and the referee then blows the whistle for the free kick. It's a collision off the ball. Play continues. Ramos's cross, free header, and Real Madrid take the lead. It's their lucky mascot, Higuain, the man who basically won the league for them last year could be prizing over the league this year. Well, he's now the top goal scorer in the league for Real Madrid. He and Raul were both on 18 goals. He gets his 19. That might be a massive goal, Rob. They lost against Barcelona. In Barcelona, Real Madrid have won 17 of the 18. Drawn one, taken 52 out of 54 points. That is league title four. Here is Henri. Can he bounce back for Barca? Oh, yes, he can! 
Rob, three times in the last five minutes, he's broke clear. They haven't picked him up, and you can see he's, he's getting loads of space, and this game has been blown wide open again. Great way to respond, Thierry Henry's 18th league goal this season, and his, uh, I think it's his 25th goal in total. And he looks at form, he's really given them such a boost. And they're back in level terms. What a start of this match we've got. Onside, precision Look. pass, precision run. What about the pass from Messi as well? Ball was won fairly and squarely by Alves, who leads the charge. Messi, wonderfully disguised pass. Messi to make it 3-1, but... Well, brilliant block by Casillas. Still play. Messi's holding it up. We have an injury inside the half. So. That's Henri falling. You can see there he was hit by. Now, could he not have squared that for a tap in at the far post, Messi? Instead of just blasting it at Spades number one. Little Messi. You get the impression he's in the mood tonight. Oh, wonderful. Watch the ball, don't watch the eyes. Yeah, he's beaten two, but he didn't pass the third one, and that's what they've done well on that. Little one, two. Fire to the far post. It's over the head of PK. He'll be retrieved by Lionel Messi. Barca edging the possession, edging the goals. A huge gap now in the league. Messi, catch him if you can. Perfect pass. Oh. Oh, they wanted again to make it the perfect goal. But the pass and the movement's brilliant, Rob. Absolutely fabulous. They're cutting open this Barcelona defence so easy. One, two there, I thought he should have shot. But then he passed it back to Messi to try and make sure they're Xavier. Great goalkeeper from Casillas. It could be three or four, one to Barcelona. In the centre of midfield. Yeah, I agree. Chan. Messi's made a brilliant run. Messi controls. There are several options. He went for oh. the wonder goal. Oh, the man's a magician. <laughs> the ball. Frustration probably more than anything. Look at this. This was clipped to the far post. Here they're going directly for goal. And here they go again. It's Iniesta on the ball. Finds on re wide left. Messi. Gets it back, plays a 1-2 with the defender, and then went for the elements of surprise. Not so good on his right foot, but again, the number of chances they're creating, Rob. The ease with which they're going through this Real Madrid defence is frightening. Diallo. Great tackle by Pio. There's a phantom whistle there, put the defender off, and Cannavaro comes across. Just soothes the situation. Pressure's been very good from both sides up front, Rob. You know you can't rest on the laws, and he's in. Oh, you can't. This could be a killer goal. Lionel Messi takes his time and walks it in. Start shining the trophy now. The league may well be Barcelona's. The maestro Messi. Has scored another wonder goal. I was just talking about getting caught in possession, and bang, they did it two or three times previous. They've done it again. Messi is the one person you do not want to pick the ball up there. And he goes through one on one with the goalkeeper. It's the Arab caught possession. It's one back by Xavi. One on one, head up. Thank you very much. No chance at all. Superb pressing from Xavi. And what a superb finish this is. Unbelievable stuff. That's as good a 35 minutes away from home as I've seen from Barcelona this season. They could have been 6-1 up, Rob. There is a phrase, isn't there, that he's the last man in the world you want to give something to. He is literally the <laughs> last man in the world, on the planet, that you give a ball like that to. <laughs> you say that because that's his 35th goal of the season. It's 22nd in the league and 13th in the cup competitions and Henri's being told to play on he has passed to have the advantage now Samuel there too hasn't got his name on the score sheet again I say yet I think all 
alter their style, home or away. Emil Messi, air two. Messi taken down off the ball by Marcelo. His name's going to go into the book for that. Well, it was nearly going to be a lovely little one-two. Messi fed the ball in, was looking for the return pass, was taken out. The one thing that is different about Messi compared to some other players of uh, similar status and skills is that he never gets up and complains. Just stirs his assailant in the eye and bounces back up like a weevil. You will leave gaps. Uh, and Barcelona is just very dangerous when they have gaps. <laughs> does he have to throw? Does he have to throw caution to the wind, though? Now, does he have to just say the, the, the margin's two goals? I mean, well, it, it can be very. The problem for Real Madrid at the moment is that their supporters, who started the day hopeful that they could close the gap on the league leaders, are now rather despondent, and almost turning on their team. Able to wear the Ramos tonight. Beauty has an ankle problem. Here's a man who's fit and fresh. Lionel Messi. Three obstacles in his way around Metzelda. Can he beat the keeper? Oh, he almost did. You can't criticise him for going solo, it's a joy to watch. Well, he skipped past Metzelda in the box, he looked up to see if anybody was there, and there should be somebody coming in the box. Watch it here, no one supports him, and that's why it goes for goal from the tight angle. And Henri's trying to get on the penalty spot, but this, the support's too late, too late. He just makes Metzelda look silly. With the Barcelona system, we've had six players, oh, Valdez, yeah. Puyol, PK, Xavi, Iniesta, and Messi, who was signed as a young man as well. Abidal guides the ball. Valdez comes and he takes it cleanly. No free kick against Robin. Again, play continues. It's getting a little manic down there. That was a body check given by the referee's assistant. Yeah, and the referee, I think, wasn't going to give it. And there's a couple of little decisions here that are crowd are banned for every decision to go their way. You can see the surprise of Guardiola's face. He did get the ball though, didn't he? He did, he anticipated well. And the referee got in the way twice. And he waste play on there with Yana Vallejo. <laughs> Messi's lucky. Maybe he's not added upon the referee. Let's see if they can get back into it, but this game's wide open for more goals. Henri, who's hunting for a hat-trick. Messi. Messi screaming for it on this far near side of the field. Alves would like to join in. Alves to Etu. Etu to oh. Messi. He should have scored. He's looking for the linesman to save his embarrassment. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's onside, Samuel Eto. Messi would have been onside. He would have been offside. Eto. He will be so angry that he's not on the score sheet yet. Messi. Javi. On Sky Sports 2 and HD2. My own coverage of a cracking game. Lionel Messi. Takes on four defenders. Slips it in to Iniesta. Iniesta. It was challenged by VR. Look at penalty, it looked a penalty, but the thing is he had a chance to go and strike it and go. Why do you want to come back inside again? You know, he doesn't get anywhere near the ball. He's the arm, does it? Gets his right leg. The referee's been very generous there. Not too many complaints from Barcelona was a another good point. said that it's like two sets of schoolboys playing on the schoolyard with a tennis ball, and at times it is. That's Van der Vaart's got a yellow card, he's just caught him with the studs. He hasn't had a kick of the ball yet, but he's had a kick of the opposition. That's frustration though, he's trying to, he's playing, they're playing keep ball and he's piggy in the middle. And he just lashes out, what's this? Wow. That is crazy. That's, it gets a standing leg. That's what I'm talking about. He had a chance when he, hit, he had the ball initially to strike with his left foot. And it is a penalty kick. If you look at it, you can see he doesn't get anywhere near the ball. 
the arrow gets his right leg. Let's hope it doesn't matter at the end of this game. That's a good ball. Messi. Xavi. Dances with defenders. Lionel Messi. It's humiliating for Real Madrid. It's heaven for Barcelona. 5-2. A genius at work. Well, it doesn't matter if it's Iniesta or Xavi or Messi or whoever it is, Andre. They're playing this simple pass and movement, pass and movement, and they've just dissected this Real Madrid defence and made them look so ordinary. Look at the pass. Trying to step up Gabriel Ence. He's not offside. Keeps his composure, Messi, and he does what he does best. And uh, that's 36 goals for the season for Lionel Messi. Unbelievable stuff. Quality from Xavi and a fabulous finish from the little man. 36 goals, 23 in the league. Just incredible. Six goals in four matches against Real Madrid. He's got 15 minutes to score his second hat trick against Real Madrid. 69 league goals from the front three. <laughs> 94 goals in total from the front three this season. Amazing. In 1935, Barca have got five minutes to equal that. Best away win was a Barca 5 0 success in 74. They're just leading by the four tonight. looking for a sixth only half stopped oh. it is six just what can you say even PK is getting on the score sheet his first ever league goal for Barcelona and it is their sixth I repeat sixth goal at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid that's six of the best isn't it PK was involved in the one two on the halfway line he continued his run Fantastic pass it was to Samieto, and he squared it for PK at the second attempt. And it's all over, Rob. It's all over on the night. It's possibly all over for the season as well. What can you say about Barcelona? Dream team, perfect team. Pep Guardiola is creating a monster, an all-encompassing monster, that have driven all over Real Madrid. They steamrolled them on the night by six goals to two. Biggest winning margin at the Bernabeu for Barca in 35 years that they have every bit the look of champions about them, don't they? Messi will probably be kicking himself if he didn't get another hat-trick tonight, if not more. Well on course for the championship. Question is, can they really make this a memorable year and make it an unprecedented treble? No sign has ever won the European Cup or Champions League as it is now won the Copa del Rey, Spain's FA Cup, and at the same time won the Spanish Championship. No Spanish side has done that. Barca still on course to do that. They lead at the top, as you can see, by seven points.